Hi guys, what's up? My name is Navin, and today we're gonna talk about a mobile app, and I'll walk you through it in a couple of minutes, and I'll tell you everybody has a habit of taking pictures at least once a day right so this is very useful and we can carry every time a OB camera correct so this camera give you, gives you a good experience in terms of capturing and sharing as well so this apps name is snap camera it's snap camera and it is available in the play store as usual and you can download so now this app is a DSLR without carrying a DSLR okay so let's get right into it so I will just go to the app okay it looks something like this so let's capture our photograph like so and you see that it's a dull low light picture and we having every detail and a good capture So let's go to the settings. So if you sc scroll right to it, you will have settings. Also, you can get that settings on these three buttons. Okay. So we basically have four options, which are photo, video, HDR, and other. So what this photo gives, we have picture size, obviously every app has its own picture size option. So this option gives you to select from various pixel size, basically. So my cam is a 13 megapixels rear camera so I have an option of 13 megapixels so I have a 4k resolution cam so I, can, I have the option of 4160 by 3120 and so I select I always select 4 by 3 aspect ratio which gives the good picture and the rest are like 12M, 9.5M and 8.5M based on your camera capacity so the next option would be scenes mode screen mode sorry so it has various scenes like action portray landscape night night portray theater beach and so on many bunch of options so I always select auto scene detection it selects automatically the next option is self timer everybody knows that burst mode everybody knows that as well we have 20 shots to 2 shots to 20 shots Okay. 
and focus mode is very important in that in capturing few objects so if you want to have a great detailed capture of a small picture of a small object yeah this is very important next is flash which is available in every mobile and everything exposure exposure bracketing exposure locking we can lock the exposure whatever you want to set so I basically go to 0.0, .0. so if you want to lock like if you want to go above like 0 0.03 so it gives like brightness exposure and you can lock that exposure so I'll go back and set it to 0, 0.0 and now the next option would be white balance I always check auto because it automatically selects the balance and if you want to touch to capture it you can select this you can touch anywhere on the screen and you can have a capture geotagging is the next option which is geographically you know, it'll give the tag of the location and I always go the best quality option for this there are many other options which I am not very professional about it so this these options are like save raw images FX post processing zebra patterning zebra threshold metering metering area and these are like professional camera usages and when coming to coming down there's a basic options like brightness contrast saturation sharpness and if you want to have a face detector you can select this and you will have face detection whenever uh, there's a face obviously and to the door to the bottom there's about the credentials of this software so we have video quality I have a 4K as I told you I can select this that gives a full HD video ultra HD video UHD okay so the next would be video focus mode this is a video so if we want to have a good continuous video we have to select continuous video mode and the the third one would be flash mode auto on or photo and the other options like preview frame rate stabilization and this option this stabilization means it will reduce the shakiness of the video basically and the next is time lapse maximum file size 2g and we have other like 4g and 100m so I say the 2g we have split video files we can split video files and we have an option of slow motion speed display brightness and about So this is useful when we have a scenery photography. So the options are like fine contrast, coarse contrast, overexposure, underexposure, saturation, and we can review the HDR shots. We can keep the HDR exposures if you want to send that same to every every capture. And if you want to have a focus between shots we can do that and 
time between shots at time between every shot like milliseconds zero to option is other and the first is camera mode and the options are program one two three manual auto raw hdr macro and so on and if you want to have a panorama picture you want to switch to panorama and the next is theme the app theme if you want to have a theme like dark light advanced settings uh, the second the first is storage location it is uh, basically the photograph where it gets saved and next two options I really don't know uh, appendicim camera use storage I have no idea of that and if you want to sign into your shutter sound you can do that by checking this and flash sound if you want to have a flash sound you can do that you can check that and volume keys if you want to have volume keys preview cropping ghost previous shot I don't know what is that and I didn't use that yet so I will get to know that and display brightness if you want to have the display of that it's not about the picture it's about the display of the app this disable long press if you want to disable that you can do that by checking this using from using the best style animation focus and a whole lot of settings the app settings so guys these are general settings for the app and we have the screen which is similar to DSLR and to the top left it is the option to switch camera front rear and the top right is the flash option and the down right is the VC video recording and the middle it is a capture photograph and to the left it's a camera mode circle I would call it as and you see that you can change it automatically we can change it this to raw HDR and all video thanks for watching and I am signing off